Dr. Cordellino? Here. Mr. Daltrey? Here. Mrs. Fano? Here. Dr. Modrak? Here. Mr. O'Brien? Here. Mr. Rappaport? Here. Ms. Zuckerman? Here. Mr. Palma? Here. Mr. Graff? Here. Mr. Arena? Here. Mr. Rostensky? Here. My absolute pleasure. My pleasure to be here. This is The Open Public Meeting Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provision of the Act, the Monfield Township Board of Education provided a public notice of this meeting, which included the time, date, and location that was posted at the Monfield Township Municipal Building, all Monfield Public Schools, the Monfield Public Library, the Monfield Township Board of Education Administrative Office Building, the district website, and advertised in the daily record, the board's official newspaper, on June 23, 2021. Thank you very much. Next part of our agenda is over here from our student reps. Philip, why don't you go first this evening, if you don't mind? Get up close to the mic, okay? Yes. Thank you. Um, in past news, homecoming coordinators were announced during halftime on last Friday's game. Our winners were freshmen Nicholas Monikowski and Adam Moscala, sophomores Andres Grafko and Jay and Willie, juniors William Thompson and Morgan Berry, and seniors myself, Colter Chesky and Noel Howard. Um, Model Day was held yesterday about the billion featuring live bands, food trucks, and activities for everyone who participated. Um, some current news this week is also food for steps. We highlight the importance of a safe and respectful learning environment. Yesterday, Cal, or here's the leaders, kicked off the week by asking students who are blue to signify the building is bullying. Today, the cultural diversity club challenged students to come dress in clothing that are of their culture, cultural background. Tomorrow, the GSA asked students to wear a rainbow or tie dye to signify respect for individuals across the gender and sexuality spectrum. On Thursday, the International Concerns Club wants students to dress bright to be candles in combat with the darkness of bullying. And on the final day of Friday, women stand found to be able to sit back, listen, and avoid interrupting others when they speak. Um, in some future news, Financial Aid Night will be on Thursday, October 7th, which is the virtual counseling event for calls out against the parents who gain an understanding of the financial aid process. Um, school will be closed on October 11th with the observation of Indigenous peoples and Columbus Day. October 3rd marks the half of the working period, as well as the 10th and 11th grade PSATs. And Saturday, October 17th, and Friday, October 23rd, is America's Safe Schools Week. This is the week for students, parents, and community members, and first the communities to their schools in their priorities. Thank you, Philip. Any questions for Philip? Dan? So, I'll give the update on sports. Um, the football team had another dominant win last Friday night against Paramus, 39-6. Tristan Perez led the offense and also received help late in the second quarter from a pick six by senior captain John Walsh. Uh, the team is now 4-1 and, and will face Sparta this Friday in by far the biggest game of the year. Not only does it decide the conference title, but Sparta has beaten Montville the last five times they've faced them. Uh, the Mustangs will flip the script Friday at 7 p.m. in the stadium in a pink out team for any fans. Um, Sally the Boys soccer team, after defeating Randolph in a regular season game last week, fell Randolph in the counties on Sunday afternoon. Uh, but there is still a lot of life left in the season as the Mustangs recently brought in senior Christian Lagrasso and will now look forward to the state tournament with the talented group. The girls soccer team also lost in the county tournament 2 0 with the park. And they'll also be looking ahead to the state tournament and adding a few more wins before the season's out. They will face more still at home on Thursday afternoon at 4 p.m. The tennis team took down Morris Mills last Wednesday, 4 to 1 at home, to even their record back up to 5 and 5. Today they got a huge win in the first round of the state sectional tournament uh, versus Westwood, and they will advance to the next round and take on Pascal Hills in the semifinals on Thursday. The field hockey team, despite losing in the county tournament this past Sunday, has had an incredible run as they scored a record of 7 and 1. They still have a lot to play for the rest of the way and look forward to their next match tomorrow at Putin High School. The volleyball team defeated Park Hills last Friday to extend their win streak to five games. The girls enjoyed their senior night this past Friday and we thank all the senior athletes 
for their hard work and continued dedication to the team. And their next game home be, their next game will be home on Thursday against Morris Catholic. And finally, last but certainly not least, your conference champion and undefeated boys cross country team. They took down Oak John, Mount Olive, and Sparta last week to finish first in their division for the first time in 20 years. Thank you very much, Dan. Any questions of Dan? We've had a very successful full season so far. If there are no other questions, I notice under the progress in our schools, and I don't want to embarrass them, but the first name on the list for the committed students <laughs> for the National America 2002 is Dan. Congratulations. <laughs> he paid me to do that every morning. <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, our next meeting is until the 26th, I think, if you have the schedule on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, business administrators report? No report. No report. Committee reports? Finance, Karen? No report this week. Curriculum? I mean, this is a pretty close reading to the last one. Policy and personnel? No report. Communications? No report. Safety? School? No report. Ad hoc committee, we don't have any. Delegates, school boards, Karen? Uh, I have one report, Charlie. Uh, I attended the board directors meeting on last Friday. Uh, officers retook an oath of office because it was our reorganization meeting, and so I was honored to retake the oath of office as vice president. Um, some key points uh, is NJSBA has published the uh, newest pandemic report. It's a white paper on rebuilding opportunities for students. That you can find it on their website. They're also engaged in their strategic plan. Um, they have been working remotely. They are returning back to headquarters in Trenton. And workshop 2021 is fast approaching uh, this month. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Morris County's Mike? I haven't met yet. Rack, uh, Educational Services, Mr. Rappaport? Our next meeting is a week from tomorrow. Okay. Drug Awareness, Mr. Palmer? That would be next Wednesday. I know Athletic is meeting every other month now, Mike? No, it's going to be every month. And October meeting is tomorrow night. Uh, I, would, I would like to encourage everyone. Uh, you don't have to have kids in school. Can you get closer to the mic? Yeah. You don't have to have kids in school uh, to be a member of the Mustangs, the athletic boosters, okay? Uh, you can go online and join, all right? It would be for your credit to do so. Okay, so tomorrow night, meeting. The meeting is tomorrow night. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a virtual meeting, Mike. Um, have a Zoom meeting. Yeah. Can you? Somebody get us the numbers or the letters for that if we want to go on? Yep, I can okay. send that up. Thank you. Uh, it's only been a week since our last meeting. Any liaisons for the schools? Um, I would not last week, actually, Charlie, on Wednesday. Met virtual, it was a well attended meeting. Introduced a new board. Um, talked about the fact they had a very, very good opening. Discussed some various fundraisers. Uh, the fact that there are a number of new families in the district. And um, I gave just a brief update on the superintendent search, only to say that things are going well and are optimistic of having an outstanding candidate. Thank you. Anybody else? I, I uh, in my haste to congratulate Dan, I skip the section of the superintendent's report. I apologize for that. If you want to do that now, please. No, no worries. I will be brief. Uh, I did include a link on the agenda for the uh, first quarter update on the uh, attainment of the district goals. We are making great progress uh, towards a number of those goals. And all of the detail is uh, contained in that report. I did also want to uh, indicate I did send out a communication to the school community through Schoology today. Uh, both the board and I have received uh, several emails from parents with regard
regard to the issue of facility use by uh, township recreation programs for the upcoming winter season. I did indicate in that communication that the Administrative Council uh, currently is overseeing the operational plan for the district. We meet monthly uh, to review the various aspects of that plan and to make recommendations for any changes or modifications to that plan. Uh, our meeting of the Administrative Council is taking place tomorrow. So uh, I will certainly report out with regard to any recommendations any recommended changes uh, that would come out of that meeting. Thank you, Renee. That concludes my report. Thank you, Renee. Before we go into um, public participation on the agenda items, Mr. Palmer mentioned that the superintendent search is in progress. We have two evenings next week scheduled, and we'll set another meeting for the finalists, and hopefully we'll have an appointment by October 26, which is, I believe, our next meeting, 26. Our public participation is an opportunity for any questions on agenda items that you have picked up in the entrance way out there. Are there any questions on the agenda items at this point? All right, I would entertain a motion for items I to end, please. So moved. Second. Do you have a motion second? Pettine? Yes, Okay, any questions on I? Okay. K, L, M, N. Okay, roll call, roll, please, Mr. Swanson. Dr. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Dr. Modrak? Yes. Dr. Cordelina? Yes. Mr. Daltrey? Yes. Mrs. Fanna? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Aye. Mr. Rappaport? Yes. Ms. Eckerman? Yes. Mr. Graham? Yes. Okay, uh, there's no need for going into a closed work session this evening. Any old business by the board? Any general comments or new business? All right, public participation is an opportunity for members of the public who would like to be heard before the board. Uh, please come up to the mic. Give us your name, please, and address if you'd like. To adjourn unless the board has anything else they want to discuss. Okay. So moved. Second. Please indicate, Katine, that no members of the public wanted to come forward and be heard. We have a motion and second. Could you have a roll call, Mrs. Swanson? Dr. Cordelina. Dr. Cordelina. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Daltrey. Yes. Dr. Modrak. Yes. Mr. O'Brien. Aye. Mr. Rappaport. Yes. Ms. Zuckerman. Yes. Mr. Palma? Yes. Mr. Rack? Yes. Our next meeting, as I mentioned, will be on October 26th. Okay? Thank you very, very much, everyone, for coming. And uh, please be safe out there when you go. And the group for the end.